Dream Chaser is a 21st century reusable lifting body vehicle and, and it's designed as a space shuttle replacement if you will. It's really a space utility vehicle that we hope to deliver uh, cargo services to and from the International Space Station. It has both pressurized and unpressurized uh, up mass and of course disposal and responsive down mass. So it's, we, we are, are pretty excited about the potential it holds for enhancing utilization of the ISS. So it's strictly cargo? Uh, it is cargo with a, with a path to crew. We, we, are, uh, uh, we are building the vehicle to be able to accommodate uh, both, but we're focusing certainly on, on, on cargo resupply services uh, for NASA. Competition is a great thing, very important for the International Space Station. As we look at a, a, a diversity of, of designs and approaches and, and, and the intrinsic dissimilar redundancy or the safety benefits that come from those, we think that's absolutely important to meeting the traffic flow demands of the ISS. And, and the ultimate objective is, is enhancing the utilization and, and, and to do so, uh, having responsive down mass, returning the space shuttle capabilities that, that really the space station was designed for um, to the mix is really important. And so we're excited about those, those opportunities. So now are you talking with researchers and seeing what their needs are as far as up and up and down mass? A a absolutely. Not only uh, the entire uh, portfolio of NASA, uh, NASA-centric researchers, but also across the international interagency uh, industry and institutional or academic markets. But and since ISS is not just about science, it's also about exploration. Uh, and, and, and we see it as the ultimate uh, cornerstone or testbed for, for beyond low Earth orbit exploration. So we're, we're, we're very engaged with those communities as well. We see this as a partnership. We see this as, as a short, mid, and long-term uh, partnership, one which we uh, are, 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 are tightly linked with NASA, but also reflecting a true commercial, a true agile and, and, and responsive uh, service for the nation. It's very important to expand and enhance the domestic, the U.S. supply of the International Space Station. And of course, uh, it goes hand in hand with crew and cargo. As we look to expand the crew to a size of seven, uh, we also need the commensurate uh, supplies uh, to support the crew, but most importantly, to enable that additional crew time on orbit to be utilized uh, for the important science that we all uh, so eager, eagerly seek to accomplish. And so uh, that science and that exploration development work uh, all takes time and it all takes a responsive up mass and down mass. And that's where Sierra Nevada comes in with the Dream Chaser. We're looking to uh, replace those attributes that the space shuttle had. We're also, as the only wing lifting body in the world, we think we're uniquely poised to uh, give immediate and responsive runway return. So the, that, that precious science, those things that we learn in the unique microgravity environment of space can imme be immediately accessed in, uh, by, by the world-class researchers on the ground. Where did you come up with the name Dream Chaser? Well, you know, Dream Chaser kind of embodies uh, embodies everything that this vehicle is about. The United States has had, you know, a world-leading legacy. You know, we've had uh, 40 years of X-planes and, and, and then 30 years of successful space shuttle flights. And, of course, we had challenges. But what we've done is we've taken and we're standing on the shoulders and lessons learned and all the great things that we've learned from the, 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 those, those programs, the X-planes and the... Uh, uh, and, and, and the X-38 and X-37, we're, we're standing on the shoulders of all of those great accomplishments and the space shuttle, of course. And, and, and we're applying 21st century materials and, and, and sensors and navigation guidance and control, and we're updating everything. And we're saying, hey, everything that we can fix, we'll put it into. But it's really about chasing this dream of expanded access for, for cargo and for people to space, opening space to a much broader segment of humanity. I think we're just at the dawn of, of a amped up utilization of the ISS um, and, 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 and our best, most exciting times are definitely before us, both in the ISS and certainly beyond.